The Final Anomaly Productions presents five master packs. No crafting, no structure decks, no fun allowed. For a 40 card main deck to climb the ranks. For every match won, a new master pack opening will be granted. Bot surrenders and crying aloud. Additional pack opening rewarded for every rank up past gold. Welcome to Master Duel Masochist. Episode 2 Unflinching Determination. Alrighty, y'all, Master Duel Masochist, Episode 2. In the last episode, we didn't win a single match, y'all. We lost five. So let's get right into it. The deck is exactly the same. We, we have to get lucky. The only way we're going to advance at all here is if we get lucky and someone surrenders or um, they just happen to brick without another master pack to be able to maybe change this deck up even a little bit. We, we aren't going to get anywhere. I don't think we're ever going to rank up at all. We're going to remain in rookie um, forever. So that's at least what it feels like. Ooh, okay. All right, well, it's 2,000 defense, which is nice. We're going to set this because it's a 2,000. 2,000 defense. This trap card doesn't do anything. Let's just set it as, like, um, like as bait to try to trick him. East T. Mango is his name. Wow. So we're already going up against... This is... Wow, you're a rookie and you already opened... You <laughs> I guess let's hope let's hope that's all they have no yeah we're we're in rookie ranks and people are already playing these decks what the heck we're going to uh he's gonna get the special summon that all right yeah we're gonna we're gonna surrender here as well I guess people in rookie rank are just they're already tryhards I don't know all right, let's. Um, that's another loss for this episode here. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna advance. Oh, this is rough. I don't see us ever advancing. To be honest, y'all. This series might be uh, might be cut short. Okay, well, we do have Ibli, and then we get to play this. We get to play a 2100 next turn, so that's kind of good. Okay, 1500 attack. We're going to be able to summon a 2100 attack. Okay, set two. All right, this is looking promising, y'all. We might actually win a match. We might actually, ooh, we might actually win a match. All right, we're going to go ahead and special summon this. Hopefully, he doesn't have something to, to destroy it. And, um... All right. Wait, he can't attack? Oh, he can't attack if I control another monster. Wow! Come on! What a mistake! And then he has to attack. Oh, but now he can attack at least. Really, you're going to have something. Alright, well, that's fine. He got to draw a card. Let's set this just for bait. Alright, well, he got to draw a card. That was a big mistake. Alright, he's going to get the special summon that. Maybe he'll be able to tribute here, unfortunately. This is becoming frustrating. You guys can't tell, but I'm pretty frustrated. I'm recording this episode right after episode one, y'all. So the losses are fresh in my mind. Come on, just pass. Just pass. Have too much to where you have to tribute and you don't have enough. He can tribute. He can tribute. We can't run over that. And we have nothing. And we have we can't run over that and we have nothing to be able to to do anything there. Our strongest monster is twenty four hundred attack. With one tribute he got thirty one hundred on the board. I don't even this isn't even possible.
None of this does anything for us. We don't even have a strong defense and nothing. And people here in Rookie are already playing like theme decks. I'm wondering if we just surrender. Oh, yeah. He's just going to loop us. All right, well. I don't even know how many matches we've lost at this point. I think that's the second one there. So, seven matches total now. Come on. Give me, like, a somewhat decent tan that's playable. In my head, I'm just like, this This uh, This concept is so stupid. Oh, my God. All right. Um, none of these are a continuous spell. I thought we'd start off pretty good. Well, we don't have anything. I need to go back and look to see if we have at least continuous cards that we didn't choose that we opted to put out of the deck. Because in this case, it'd be beneficial. Alright. This trap card is annoying me. I think I'm just going to take it out just to take it out. It appears so much. All right, well, he just keeps passing turn. Oh, he's using the regular deck. Let's go. We actually have a chance here. If we don't... It, we got to start drawing something that actually makes a difference, though. <sighs> We're not drawing anything. What's this? Nothing. This is nothing. Why are we drawing nothing but spells and traps? Come on! Where are the monster cards at? Alright. He's getting rid of some good spell cards, meaning he must have something good in his hand. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The one time we actually have a chance to do something. The one chance we actually have to do something. We're not drawing any monsters. All right. Yeah, we're going to set that one finally. Well, finally, if he just passes turn, we'll take 2,400 life points next turn. So if he just passes turn, we'll take 2,400 life points next turn. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. I'm actually getting mad. <laughs> oh, come on. Ooh. We'll take uh, 2,900 life points. We'll get to take 2,900 life points. Is he rock? It'd be nice if he was rock. Wait, what? Maybe it's during the battle? Let me see. No? How does this, how does this work? Oh, if it battles an opponent's monster. Okay. Well, we have 2,400 attack monster on the board. I feel somewhat good, I guess. Come on, just pass turn or something. Oh, let's go. Let's go, okay.
All right. Okay, I wish we would have. Oh my god! I went to attack. And I accidentally put him in defense mode. The one chance that we actually have of winning a game. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. And then we're drawing into absolutely no monsters either. You don't know how frustrating that is, y'all. We'd be one attack away from game here. We'd be one attack away from game. Alright. I don't know if this is a bot. Is this a bot, y'all? Is this what bots are doing? I don't know if it's a bot, but it just feels weird. Let's go. I'm going to take it, though. I don't know if that's a bot. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, y'all, if y'all think that's a bot. But let's go. I'm going to take that win because I don't know if it was or wasn't. But it'd just be weird if it was. But we got one, y'all. Finally, we're going to get to get a master pack here. And let's change up this deck. Let's change up this deck here. Oh my goodness. Let's go buy a master pack. You don't know how excited I am for this master pack, y'all. Uh, now, if, the, if, if we get bots, but we recognize, in fact, they are bots, we won't count them. But um, I don't know if that was a bot or not. So um, I've never been this excited for a master pack, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we going to get here? Please be good. Don't give me a bunch of nothing. Oh, let's go, baby. We got a UR. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, hopefully it's a good UR. Oh, let's go, baby. This is going to be a good pack. All right, Ghost Trick Witch. Something I could finally use. Let's go. All right, so we got an extra deck card. It's a... All right, all right, maybe. Ooh, Notoria Butterfly. Okay, we can negate an attack there. That's very helpful. Last hope of the Nemesis. I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Does that help me? Does that UR help me? No. No, that doesn't help me. I got excited. I got excited for that. Oh my god. This card is treated as a normal monster in your hand. You can tribute to win monsters for one less tribute. Okay, okay. Okay, this... This might come in handy. We just need a wind monster. We'll have to go back and look to see if we got any wind monsters. All right. Well, we might have gotten a few cards. Okay. Okay. We might have something here. We might have something. All righty. So with the new cards that we got, we did change up a little bit of things. We took out some of the cards we didn't need. We kept the continuous cards just because we contribute those for one of our monsters. We added the Notoria Butterfly. We added the uh, Cage Mucha Knight, however you say that. Uh, we did, of course, add the... Um, where is it? It was one of the stronger ones. Oh, I need to see if I have a Wind Monster, too. This one right here. There's a Morgue. Um, you can tribute summon this monster for one less tribute. If you can, uh, if you tribute summon with this card, as a tribute only a Wind Monster. So let's see if we actually have a Wind Monster. We do. We have a Wind Monster. So this might actually be in handy. We might actually be able to advance here. So let's go into rank again here. All right, so we're in rookie one now. Let's go ahead. And I can't wait until we uh, get into gold where we're going to be able to reward ourselves with a, an additional master pack here. So uh, we do get to go second. I feel a little bit better that Zamora card and the fact that we only have to tribute one win monster for it. And I think we get to return two back row. I feel a lot better. Hopefully this is enough to, um, to help us out and actually do something here. All right, let's take a look. Ding. We're going to go ahead and just set the Royal Magical Library here. We're going to go ahead and set the trap card, and then hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. Already summoned to 2100. This is bad. 
All right. Um, maybe we just surrender here. Yeah, we're just going to surrender. There's not... I, I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing for this. I might have could do something the next turn, but he's got a set three and he's about to search another. This is rough. Maybe we should have allowed ourselves an additional master pack after every rank up after rookie, because <laughs> ranking up doesn't seem easy at all. We're going to go ahead and go first here. Hopefully we can draw something somewhat decent. Wait, I thought I took this card out of my deck. Crossbreed. All right, well, it's an 1800 attack. Let's just play it. It's an 1800 attack. We're going to go ahead and set this. We'll set this. All right. That loser is his name. Okay. I like this. All right, it's only 1400. Set another. Let's go. All right, this isn't terrible. He'll be able to tribute summon, I think, right? Because he can special summon a monster, which is bad, but it is what it is. All right, let's 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 go ahead and attack. He might be able to tribute summon next turn, but we'll take some life points and we'll clear this card out. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything in his hand that he needs to tribute summon for, though. Okay. All right. Wasn't normal summoned, which is good. All right. Hopefully, again, he doesn't... Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, if he wanted to tribute summon, he has it now. Such great cards. Why couldn't I have at least gotten some of the cards like this? All right, so he just so happened to have two ancient gear cards in his hand plus the fusion. Okay. All right, this ain't bad. All right, he's gonna get an ancient gear monster and add it to his hand. He has a normal summoned. All right, what we're gonna do is I think we could return it back to the. I think we can return it back to the uh, to the extra deck if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're gonna go ahead and battle, and I think I can return him if I'm not mistaken. No? Oh no! Damn it! I right click. That's bullcrap that it wanted me to activate those other cards first. That, that pissed me off. That pissed me off. This game sometimes is just stupid. Alright, we're going to surrender here because of that dumb mistake. We could have won that. We could have won that. We could have had that match. All because the game decides it wants to tell me if I want to activate two other cards prior. It's just... Sometimes this game... I'm pissed. I'm pissed. We could have had that match. That would have been a victory. That's frustrating. We're going up against 60 card deck. I feel pretty good. On, I, I feel pretty good about this one. I'm not gonna lie. I actually feel pretty good about this one. We'll see what happens. Wow. We're going up against Dragon's Maids. 60 card deck too. I wonder what's in this person's deck for them to just draw the very accurate. Searcher for their fusion spell on a 60 card deck. That's pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Being able to search their um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna surrender here. 60 card deck, and they drew, they opened their searcher. That sounds like Master Duel. Alright. Let's just keep going at it. Let's see if we can win another match. I would have won that last match. I'm positive. I'm positive. But the game had to ask me if I wanted to activate everything but the card I wanted to activate. All right, um, dang it, this field spell. Why is it always this and this together? Have y'all noticed that? It's always this card and the field spell instead of a continuous spell card or a continuous trap card tech. I don't care. All right. Ritual cards. If we can get Ibly on their side of the field, we might be onto something. Okay. All right, this might win us the match. All right, what's he thinking? He's thinking of something. All right. Hopefully that's not something to destroy a card. Okay. Imperm is fine. Imperm is very fine here. Alright, this might... I mean, he'll have to... He'll have to crash, I think. I don't think he's going to be able to ritual summon here. We actually might have a chance because of this Ibly. Ibly might get his game. Nope, never mind. He could just tribute. And then, of course, he... Oh, my God. All right. I don't... How is it that they're getting these just very accurate cards? Just very accurately a card of tribute that destroys a monster on the board. Golly. That's disgusting. That's very accurate. Well, there's Ibly again, and then there's this field spell again. We'll set Ibly. Hopefully, the opponent doesn't have anything. Okay. All right, fine. We're going to take 1,400 life points. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Actually, we're going to take 1,800 life points. I'm happy with this. We'll take 1,800 life points. Let's go. All right. I don't know. We might win this one, y'all. Come on. Please don't have drawn any monsters. Okay. I think... Does this work? Does this work? No, it doesn't work. I guess because the effect activated prior. No, never mind. It did work. Let's go, baby. Ibly came in clutch. Ibly came in clutch. So let's summon this. We'll go into the battle phase. Go ahead and attack the Ibly. We'll attack this. All right, come on. They just need to, you know what? Just in case, let's set this for like bait. They just need to not be able to play anything here. What is this? 
Please don't have a level one light tuner. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I think we win. I think we win. <laughs> I think we win. Oh, I think we win. Oh. Oh. Wait, how many? Okay, one. Yeah. I think we win. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, feels so good. Guys, these victories feel amazing. Woo. Let's go, baby. All right. Let's go open ourselves another master pack. We are in bronze five, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go open up ourselves a master pack to end the episode. Woo! Let's go, baby. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we get a guaranteed SR. We get a guaranteed SR, y'all. We get it. Ooh! We get two SRs in a UR. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys don't know I want this so bad. We're going to get to master rank in this masochist series. I want it so bad you don't even know. Oh, let's go. We can we can add this to the deck. We can add that to the deck. All right. Alien dog. Uh, it's a reptile. I think I have a, I think I have a, a field spell for reptiles. When you're normal and alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. So far, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, but it's definitely something better. Let's see. All right, all right. We got an Amazonas card when uh, Amazonas. However, you say that when this card is activated, you can take one Amazonas monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or if it's a pendulum monster, place. Okay, so we we get a free search. This is good, and it's wind. Um, we're starting to get some, uh, you know, something that kind of mixes crossbreed is worthless at least for now. Super solar nutrient, but it's good for the tribute. Okay, we, we do have Gladiator Beast monsters. Gladiator Beast Vespacious plus two Gladiator Beasts. I got to see what we have. This might actually be something we can use. All right, we got a level four shark. Oh, let's go. World Legacy, World Lance. But we, All right, I'll take it. This is definitely going to change up the deck. Let's just go and uh, add what we need to add to the deck so that for the next episode, we are ready. All righty, y'all. So this is the deck right before we end this episode. We did add... A few cards. We added this, the continuous spell, so now we can tribute it. We can also search an Amazonas card. We did add this just because it's continuous and we can use it to tribute it away. Uh, we did add, of course, the monsters that we gained, um, which was pretty much Alien Dog. Um, Alien Dog, I think, is the only one. Oh, and then the Shark, of course. So we added those two. So that's a little bit of extra. We added the Field Spell, and then we added the 3,000 for a beater here. So we got a little bit more now, some variety, and then to the extra deck, we just added Gladiator Beast, even though we don't have anything to summon him. We also have a Shark Exceed monster, I just realized that. But alrighty, y'all, that's going to be it for episode two of the Masochist series, starring the final anomaly for this one. Please, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate all the support, and stay tuned for the next episode. Hey guys, Anom here, and it looks like things are heating up as we find ourselves encountering an Unchained deck. We're duking it out, and we may have a chance to show the world what we're capable of. Can we take home the victory? Find out on the next episode of Master Duel Masochist.